Welcome back to another mCreator tutorial. So next uh, procedure tutorial that we're going to work on is basically the block and item selectors. So we're going to create a quick procedure first and then what we're going to do is we're going to set a global trigger uh, just so when we break the block we actually have some sort of event that we actually do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the block selector. It can be found under Minecraft components. Uh, it might also be found under some other blocks. And then you, with the block selector, which is the yellow one, you'll be able to select any block in the vanilla game as well as your custom mod blocks. And there's a whole list of them here. The ones in your mod will always be at the beginning, so you can do that. There's also selectors of all blocks, custom elements, items, and blocks as well. Some blocks, if you're using a block selector, will not have items, but you will be able to find most of the blocks here. So we're going to select grass, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to get a, um, a block for the position so we're going to get block at and then we already covered the x y and z so i don't really need to explain that and then what we're going to do is we're going to compare the block at the location with the block that we want to select so that will be the grass blocks we're testing if the grass block is there then what we're going to do is we're just going to place down an if statement and then we're going to test if that condition is true so if the condition is true and we can find the block then what we want to do is we want to basically go ahead and run a event inside the if statement so let's quickly do that and we're going to basically spawn a uh, gem so i haven't covered the spawn gem block yet i'll cover that more in depth but uh, we have a item selector here this can also be found under minecraft components right here uh, same idea as the block selector but it also has items blocks can also be items so that's why there's a lot of blocks in there and then you have all the items at the end there um, in this case i'm just going to select an item that can basically drop with the um, grass when it's broken so i'm just going to select green dye for this one and we're going to spawn it at the same location so it's simple as that uh, we don't really need to do anything more with this particular procedure so we can just quickly save once we have that done to save all you need to do is press the little green button up at the top here and it'll save your element now in game uh, we can break the block with our hand or any other tool and you can see that it drops the green dye from the block itself as well as the vanilla block that uh, it's for as well so we got uh, five green dye from breaking five blocks of the thing thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed see you next time